My name is Koen Bultz from the Fellowship of Acoustics and it's time for new new arrivals again. Last week we did it in a different format but now we're back at the old way. Uh, and let's not wait too long and start off with the first one and this one will blow your socks off. Let's have a look at this beautiful cast, ca uh, custom, custom, custom 2408 private stock. And I mean look at that top, the beautiful kilter maple top. But not just the kilter maple top, but also the fretboard. Everything is matched together. They've uh, picked the back and they used this dog hair finish. So that it really gives a depth, not just on the top, but also on the back of the guitar. So this guitar is already two years old, but still looks like new and will fit in everybody's PRS collection. Next one up is this beautiful 1963 hummingbird and I love hummingbirds and what I love about hummingbirds is even though they look like mighty big dreadnoughts they don't sound that super loud so they are braced in a way uh, that you really get this nice mid and warm low end uh, without having it too much so as soon as you start recording this it immediately sounds perfectly on any recording and that's why the old vintage hummingbirds are so popular in studios. So this guitar is still in very nice condition. The smell is good, really nice, original old lacquer. Mahogany back and sides of course, the spruce top and the authentic pig art. Next one up is quite a rare one as well. So this is this founder's design Fred Stewart Telecaster. And you wouldn't say it, but this guitar is inspired on a D28. Yeah, you can see the herringbone trim, uh, you can see the spruce top. This guitar is a little wink towards the acoustic way of making guitars, but I find it super nice on the telly. Um, it looks super chic, and I would take this on stage any moment. So the Founders Design series were a series of uh, Fender where they honor the very first custom shop uh, makers and Fred Stewart was one of them and uh, yeah, I think this is one of the best ones out of that series. <laughs> something that's made in Europe. So this beautiful McElroy A78. So the A is this grand auditorium style shape. So it, it fits most people. It, it feels comfortable on the couch, but yet it's strong enough to project a nice low end as well. Um, 78 stands for redwood top with beautiful Madagascar rosewood back and sides. And that's a very nice tone wood combination. So the, the redwood gives this nice top end crisp, while the Madagascar is super creamy, super warm in the low end, so it gives a super rich and overall sound. We got this very nice D28 in from 1962. Um, and for all the dreadnought lovers out there, we got a lot coming in. I think we just got in like five or six different D28, D35s, all 50s and 60s. 
Um, so if you're a Brazilian Rosewood fan and you like vintage Martins, then come out to the store, try some out because we got quite a few of them right now. Um, they will come up in the, uh, on the website in the following weeks. But then this 1962 D28, this is how a D28 should sound. A beautiful spruce top, Brazilian Rosewood back and sides, and it's a beautiful set. Um, this guitar had some wear and tear and repairs over the years. You can find all these specs on the website, but I think right now it's the, the first and best thing to do is have a listen to this demo. it for this week i really hope you enjoyed the video i really hope you enjoyed the guitars i really enjoyed selecting these guitars because yeah every guitar here got a story um, if you want to have some more information like i just said go check out the website go check out our demos uh, and if you have any more questions give us a ring give us a call uh, send us an email that's two times the same thing <laughs> ring call anyway uh, we hope to see you in the next episode and thank you very much for watching bye bye Bye. 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 Bye.